Hiking in Kosovo, Wikipedia Audio Hiking in Kosovo started with establishment of the first hiking association in 1928, and it continued with creation of different association all around the territory which was then part of Yugoslavia. After the Kosovo War a lot was done also by the support of the societies such as, Hiking Injury which have worked hard to not only organize activities, but also to expose hiking to the general public via social media. Hiking as an activity started in its true sense circa 1930, the year in which a group of friends climbed the Jeravica mountain in P. This was the first time that a peak in Kosovo was climbed. Even though people started to show interest shortly after, many mountains were near border areas and people needed special permission to visit them due to the political issue at the time. That is the reason why people were able to actually become active hikers only after the war, especially in 2003-2005. The vast majority of the terrain of Kosovo is mountainous. Hiking Zones Currently hiking and mountains have started to become an asset for tourism. One of the companies offering these services in Kosovo is the Balkan Natural Adventure. Additionally a big support to Kosovo hiking tourism was made by a German development agency program called the Peaks of the Balkans which goes through Kosovo, Montenegro, and Albania. Central mountains are not sufficiently hard to climb, yet they make a good hiking trail, their height goes from 800 a euro 1200 meters. The Mirusha River splits these mountains in two groups. The first one is located in the southwest of Central Mountains and includes the following, Milanovic Mountains, Gajruk, Zatryk, Bajruk, and Gremnik. The second group consists of Kronoljeva, Golshi, Berisha, Kozmeki, Drinicha, Kaikavika Mountains. Surrounding mountains are located near border areas. They are harder for hiking because of their steep trails and require a lot of experience and agility. Mountains that are in this group are, East Ridge Mountains of Albanian Alps, Hasi Mountains, Push Trico Peak, Shar Mountain, Kortnik, East Mountains of Galak, Kobaniku, and Ragazna. Trekking, Rock Climbing, Day Hike, Backpacking the preferred hiking zones are those providing at least a somewhat challenging set of trails, but also proximity to cities such as Prizren and P. Even though Kosovo has many mountains that offer great trails for hiking, there are some that any hiker must visit because of their beauty and paths like, Shar Gorge, mountains in Rugova Canyon and also Istog Gorge. In many of these places it is possible to go by car but in some mountains like Airavika, Mariashi, Rashkodoli, A1 half Uti Cayman, Milashefsai, and mountains in Baliga Gorge the only way to go is by off-road vehicle. Shar Mountain is known for its good region and good roads but that is not the case for Rugova and DEA and Gorge. The following is a list of some of the best and most secure hiking trails, a list compiled by several local and national hiking clubs. April to December is considered the most suitable time for hiking, as most passionate hikers are skiing during the cold winter months. However, with shorter ski seasons due to low snowfalls and the increasing popularity of hiking, a lot of hikers have begun to remain active during winter as well. Mountains in Kosovo are covered in snow from November to April that's why snowproof and waterproof boots are mandatory in the west due to the need for stream fording. The mountains preferred for hiking during hot weather are, Airavika, Hasi Mountains, Aar Mountains Outskirts, Galak, Kobaniku, Ragazna. A1 half Uti Cayman, Milashefsai, Rosh Kodoli, 
Maria Shi. As for the cold winter months, the preferred mountains are those that are lower in altitude and are less steep, Prevala, Pash Alor, Push Triku, Brezovica, Broad Outskirts, and Kortnik. Hikers in Kosovo speak of four kinds of hiking activities. The equipment required largely depends on the hiking activity and the nature of the trail. A basic kit must include water, a map, a backpack, and a flashlight. As for the outfit, one can wear anything but hiking boots are a must. Dangerous hiking circumstances include getting lost, hazardous terrain, animal attack and sickness. It is therefore also advisable to bring medications or first aid kit. One could quite easily get lost because not all trails in Kosovo are marked, which is why one needs to carry a magnetic pocket compass. Different hiking clubs in Kosovo have a list which includes items such as sunglasses, sunscreen, clothes, first aid kit, fire starter, knife, and many other stuff to get you prepared as you can be. The maps that are used are mostly GI's maps. Also there are maps that were created by the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports with a scale of 1 colon 25,000 and 1 colon 50,000. Even though signs are rare, hikers are not so it is easy to get around by asking directions. Eurasian lynx, chamois, brown bear, buzzard, wild boar, western capercaillie, white stork. Kosovo has a great potential for development of mountain tourism. The whole territory of Kosovo has more than 50% of mountain relief. People of all ages can go on hiking, although currently most hikers in Kosovo are aged between 30 and 60. The percentage of people that are interested in hiking, compared to the potential that Kosovo offers, is really low even though there is a big effort on raising that percentage. Hiking in Kosovo can be very interesting and an unforgettable experience and many have written about it. Hikers usually take a journal with them to keep track of different hiking trips. Their journal usually contains how many kilometers they walked, how long did it take to arrive to the peak, the places they visited and notable things they saw during the hike. While hiking in Kosovo one can run into different endangered species, rare and poisonous plants. 1928, Jerevica, p. 1948, Push Triku, now Sherry, Prizren, 1948, G. A. Rmija, now Pristina 1, Pristina, 1948, Push Triku, A. Akavica, 1928, Sherry, now Liboteni, Euro Evac, 1948, Tripa A, Kosovska Mitrovica, 1950, Kikavica, Vua, Itrin, 1967, Jeleznikar, now Kalaja, Kosovo Palje, 2000, Eko, Prizren, 2000, Guri Izi, Dragat, 2000, Blanaja, Lipljan, 2004, Mari Manget E. Pejas, 2004, Guri I. Strangeta, A. Timelj, 2004, Shkalzeni, A. Akavica, 2005, Hiking Anjuri, Pristina, 2008, Dardania, Njelane. 2009, The Hikers, Pristina Hiking Trails Some of these animals are As for the plants In Kosovo there are more than 25 hiking clubs organizing different hiking events. The most known in Pristina are, Hiking Anjuri and SHBA Prishtina but still Prizren is known for the largest number of hiking societies. During the last years, 
hiking in Kosovo has gotten more and more support from different foreign organizations like USAID, EU Commission and Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports. The best way to taste Kosovo's mountains and enjoy the stay there is to join one of these clubs for a small membership fee. The hikes are organized on weekends going from weekly ones with general attendance in some clubs to more rare but demanding hikes in others. The Society Jerevica from P is the first society that was created in 1928. After the World War II many clubs were created in Mitrovica, Jakova, Ferizic, Pristina, and Prizren. In 1951 the first hiking community was formed which later was called Lidjibchkatare, Skidare e Kosova s. Except outdoor activities many clubs started publishing magazines and books for example Jerevica, which managed to publish 19 issues of the magazine The Voice of Jerevica. Nowadays many clubs have been more active, exploring new paths and new places. For example, Sherry Club from Euro Evac worked with GPS to mark and sign new paths and make the orientation much easier. Hiking Seasons Types of Hiking Equipment and Directions People and Hiking Rarities While Hiking in Kosovo Clubs Chronology of the establishment of hiking clubs Commercial sites <laughs>